Welcome, welcome, welcome. So um, in today's training today, um, I'm going to give you uh, five, five uh, rapport building mistakes, um, you know, five uh, rapport building no-nos, I should say, when you're out there prospecting for your business. Um, common mistakes that you know I've seen you know I, I, I've made them you know I think there's a lot of time when going through uh, when you are um, prospecting um, or when you are building your business and you see these successful network markers uh, you, you, you you see them you know at a level like they're flawless and they're you know perfection or whatever that's not the case you know, every network marker that has, you know, that's walked across stage, that's received an award, that's ranked up, they they have been through what the beginning network marker has gone through. So nobody is immune to this. You just have to kind of, you have to go, you know, fail forward and, and get through the bumps and bruises. And this is why I'm going to share this training today about mistakes that I see, you know, basically over and over again. And uh, how can you avoid these mistakes? And, um, you know, I'm not saying that you won't avoid them in the future. Hopefully you will. But I want to share with you how you can avoid these, uh, avoid the mistakes. So, report, uh, report, <laughs> report, 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 building mistake number one, report, building no no number one is leading with your wallet. So, a, a lot of times, uh, network marketers, uh, because they are promoting a you know a product or a service, they are leading with their wallet. They're just going for the sale. They're, they're trying to just get the sale just right then and there. And that's just, you know, that's bad rapport building. I mean, that's terrible rapport building because, you know, that prospect can feel it and they they feel like you're just trying to get something from them. And, you know, you're just trying to create, you know, create a sale. And, you know, it just, you know, it just turns, it, it raises resistance in that prospect and they can feel that energy if you're trying to lead with your wallet. So, you know, you want to avoid leading with your wallet and, you know, you know, so at least speak to the prospect first, but, you know, don't lead with your wallet when you are speaking with the prospect because that's just, you're going to raise a lot of resistance and uh, people will talk and then it won't look uh, good for you when you are out there prospecting. So that's number one. Number two is talking about yourself. Now, uh, you know, people love to talk about themselves, but if you're going into a conversation and you are uh, talking about only yourself and talking about only your business, a prospect is gonna be turned off by that because um, you know, they want to talk about themselves too, but you know, they can see that if you just continue to talk about them, talk about yourself and you're going to just continue to, uh, you know, talk about, you know, your accolades and what you've been doing and where you've been traveling and what's going on in your life. And prospect is going to be resistant to that because they're like, man, this, you know, this person is just, they all they want to do is just talk about themselves. You know, a great book out there is how to, how to win, uh, how to win friends and influence them. Uh, by uh, I think it's Dale Carnegie, I, I believe that's the name. But he, in that book, it talks about be interested, not interesting. So you want to be interested in who you're speaking with and not interesting and talk about yourself. So that's number two. Number three is uh, being scripted. Now you know I you know I'm I'm on the borderline with scripts because and I and I'll talk about it one of the tips later. Um, but Script being, and I think people, you know, when they get these scripts, you know, from their company or, or they get these scripts from uh, other means and stuff like that, um, they, it, it's not genuine. Like, so they're, they're, they're coming off reading a, a script, they're memorizing the script. So it's like if you were going to take a test in school, you memorize it, and then you just go and you use the, you know, you, you, mem you, you memorize the answers, you take the test, and after you take the test, you forget that's the same thing with the script. You know, people, you know, will get a script, memorize it, go out there and try to use it. And people, prospects who are like, well, I mean, that's not real. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're not being really being scripted when you're out there uh, prospecting for your business. So, um, you know, please, please, please don't be scripted. I, I suggest use a script, but don't be scripted. Number four is uh, not researching your prospect. Now, with this uh, great resource of social media, rather it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, you know, Periscope, whatever. 
you can now go and research a prospect before you uh, go out and speak to them. Now, if you are, you know, you know, for for me, for example, if I if I see a a, a prospect that doesn't have their picture on there, um, they have they're hiding behind the logo, they're hiding behind the online, um, you know, maybe they have uh, you know negative things on their uh, on, on their Facebook page. I'm not going to speak to that person. But there's people who will go out there and you know not see what type of business that they're in, not look at the re not like look at the research, and they would just continually send them uh, solicited links on uh, send them solicited links on uh, on Facebook or whatever in messages, and it just doesn't work. So you know don't be scripted. Uh, don't I mean I'm sorry. Don't uh, don't not do not not research your prospect. When you're out there, make sure that you research your prospect before you get into it. And um, oh, I think I just lost something there. Anyways, and the, and the last one, which is kind of was talking about earlier, about being scripted, is not practicing. So if you are not practicing, you know, you know, like <laughs> my my boy AI, you know, practice. We're talking about practice. You know, not the game, not the game. We're talking about practice, and that's what a lot of people do. They're not. They just want to go into the game, which I, you know, highly suggest because that's you know an action step, but. You have to practice. You gotta. You have to go out there and practice. You know the 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 skills that you are applying, the skills that you are learning. You know if you are not, uh, you know, learning, uh, you're not applying what you're uh, what you're learning, and you're not practicing it, then you're not going to get better. You're not going to develop those skills. You're not going to uh, sharpen your craft. So you have to go out there and make sure you're practicing. And you can tell people who are not practicing because, you know, they continue to make these mistakes over and over again, and they are not practicing. Uh, you know, they're not they're not practicing, you know, for their business and it's going to be hard to build a successful business if you're not practicing, you know, principles and skills to actually build that business. So hopefully you did find value in this. If you did, please share, comment below. I think I lost uh, my live stream here. Um, also, if you are, um, if you, you know, if you're looking to improve your prospecting, you know, head over to our website at askjwarren.com forward slash prospecting, where you can get, learn how you can become a better prospector for your business and, you know, get, get some, and sharpen your skills as far as prospecting goes. So, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.